In this video, I'm going to show you painting a mix in Reaper. So we have a project in front of me here with some drums, bass, acoustic guitar, electric guitars, and a vocal. And if you notice over here, they're all panned in the center, which is usually not gonna create an interesting mix as everything is right in between our speakers or on our headphones right in the middle of our head. But let's hear what it sounds like now. As I said, it's not as interesting with everything panned in the middle, right in between our speakers or with headphones right in the middle of our head. But to hear it clearer, let's turn off all the retro guitars and the vocal. And we can just hear the acoustic. And again, it's panned right in the middle. So it's right in the way of our kick drum, our snare, and our bass guitar. So we could just pan it to the left to get it out of the way. Or we could do what I prefer to do, which is double the acoustic guitar, which is what I did right here. Let's pan this one to the right. So now we have two guitars, one pan left and one pan right, out of the way of our bass and our kick and snare. Now we also have an electric guitar right here. Playing the rhythm, let's turn off the acoustics, and notice it's also in the middle. So it's also fighting with the kick, snare, bass, and vocal. So again, my preferred way is to double it, pan this one to the left, here's the double, and pan this one to the right, which sounds like this. Again, out of the way of the other instruments. So here together with the acoustic guitars, We could hear it's a much wider mix. Now we could bring in the lead guitar for the intro. And because it's the lead instrument in this section, I prefer to keep it in the middle. And we have an answer guitar in the intro as well. Now we could move the answer guitar out of the middle, but because it doesn't play at the same time as the first one, it still works in the center of our panning. So I'm gonna keep both of these guitars in the center. 
as it's not really clashing or getting in the way in that space. Then over here, we have the vocal. And again, the vocal is the main attraction in this section, the lead instrument, so it makes sense to keep this in the center, in the middle of our speakers. But over here, we have an answer electric guitar, which sounds like this. When will tomorrow Today's a shadow, it's a dream. Haunted by the past. And even though it plays around the vocal, I think we can move it a bit to the side. Select the verse guitar, hit P. So we can see the panning envelope on this track. Let's zoom in a bit right here. Let's create a razor edit for this section. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, right click drag, and drag from here to here. Let's move it a bit to the left, about 45%. And let's hear that. Now it's a bit outside the center, but to make it more interesting, let's move it so every other section is in the left or right. So I'll create another razor edit over here, move this 45% to the right side, and duplicate it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag it over to here. And now this phrase is towards the left, this phrase is towards the right, and so on. And let's hear that. Notice how much more interesting that sounds, with the guitar moving back and forth and staying out of the way of the vocal, which is obviously in the middle. Let's hide this envelope by typing P, and now let's check out the chorus guitar right here. Let's turn it on. Again, this guitar plays around the vocal, but we could hear it even clearer if we move it out of the middle. So let's select this track, type P, to see the panning envelope. Let's zoom in and adjust it the same way. Create a razor edit for the whole section. We'll move it about 45% to the left. Let's hear that. Let's create one over here and move it to the right and duplicate it to this section. And let's hear that. Again, that keeps it out of the way of the vocal and makes it more interesting going back and forth. But personally, for the chorus, I think it's a bit too gimmicky. So I'm going to put it back to just stay mostly on the left in the chorus, but still move in the verse back and forth over here. So let's hear the result.
I think that sounds more interesting, more dynamic as things move around from left to right, or just start that way in a wider spread. So that's pretty much it. That's panning a mix in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.